All right, so I was able to land multiple jobs in IT after course careers, and um, this is very possible in 2024. Um, before we continue speaking, my name is Ario DeJuiced from Juicy Tech YouTube channel. And special shout outs and big thank you to our friends and um, sponsors at Course Careers, which is a online training program that has helped many people land a job in the tech space in 2024. And uh, yeah, it just works. So for more information about Course Careers, definitely check the link down below. It is a affiliate link. So uh, just keep that in mind. But yeah, uh, so I work in tech and I was able to land this job, not only because of Course Careers, but they did help a lot. Um, I do have experience in terms of working as a working in tech support that does kind of have the same job duties as a IT support specialist. I won't get down to that. Um, topic too much but it does kind of have the same job um, duties and um, yeah so uh, that helped a lot having the work experience and tech support and also having I guess customer service um, in tech support which is that's just what it is you're assisting customers or clients or users and um, yeah excuse me I just had lunch so I have a lot of gas excuse me so these skills did help me land a job in the tech space and course careers did very much help in terms of the cur the curriculum is so modern and super understandable. It's up to date like there's no tomorrow. It really helps you understand um, what's going on in IT in 2024. And you obtain the skills immediately because it's very up to date. So that helped a lot because a lot of stuff that we learned in course careers, um, I actually do... Um, what, how should I put it? Those same technologies that we learn in course careers, I'm using those same technologies in multiple IT um, roles that I've um, were um, blessed to work in. So like, what am I talking about? So we worked, we meaning we worked in course careers. Um, I, oh, should I just say I? <laughs> I worked, um, I, I was able to, not able, but we, um, we're very much using Microsoft Azure in the labs in course careers. That's one of the most amazing things about the curriculum. They're very, very heavy on the latest technology, and that to me is Azure. Now, if you don't know, don't know what Azure is, I'm not gonna get down too much into that, do some Googles, but Azure is what I'm using right now in my current role and my previous role. So it helped a lot that course careers focus heavily on Azure. Cloud computing is what it is, basically, and that's really what most employers um, are have have adopted and it makes life so much easier but yeah so just being able to use those or do the labs and course careers did help me or did set me up for success in my roles because that's what you're using right now literally um, cloud computing some employees are using the old-fashioned old-fashioned I guess the older technologies Active Directory, Google Work, Workspace, or um, G, G Suite. I think that's a, the former name of that. So it, th those are pretty old technologies and not many employers are using that. Some are obviously, but more are using cloud computing, which is amazing. I won't get down too much information on that, but that to me is how, or what has helped me land multiple roles in tech. Um, the curriculum from Course Careers, they help so much. Also, I did go to a, a coding bootcamp so me, me um, very much working in pairs or groups was another great um, advantage that I, um, I guess, I, I learned in, co in coding bootcamp. And why am I bringing this up? Because I work in groups right now in my current role, in my last role, we worked in pairs. So having those skills of working with people is a big deal. Sounds corny, I know it does, but when you have people skills, meaning you know how to approach people you know, correctly, you know how to ask the right questions because you're paying attention. Um, people actually like being around you for the next eight plus hours throughout the day at the office. Um, people really enjoy your presence. They just enjoy speaking with you. That's a big deal. That means you have really good people skills. And um, that's what you want. And that's what you're gonna need, really, um, when you're working in tech, right? Uh, you know what, let me, let me put that back. Let me put that back. Let me, um, say it again when working in IT specifically you're going to be working with people um, mainly so it could be in person or hybrid hybrid in person or remote the point is you're assisting others and that's a people skill believe it or not 
it is a people skill being able to um it's, it's just important to have so this is something i learned at coding boot camp working in pairs is a very important trait or skill to have especially for it you're going to be around people most of, of the time throughout your day unless it's a remote you know position different story but for the most part it is in person so why bring this all why bring all this up i'm just trying to show you and prove to you that it you can still land a job in it in 2020 in 2024 um and i, I just be more about my day-to-day -day right now right me working as the it specialist that's really the point of this video what do i do as my day-to-day -day right now working where i work right now i'm just here on lunch break um and i just want to get this out before i go back to work in about 20 more minutes but um my day-to-day -day is is pretty much i come in and i start well i first i clock in <laughs> if anything um i i clock in and then um i go on my workstation i actually i have a laptop that i could take home with me so i log on to uh, my the ticket system that we're using right now which is Zendesk right so we're using Zendesk and um, that's how we pretty much manage the tickets that that comes in so I go on there and see what's a priority in terms of the ticket that we are receiving and what I mean by that is uh, which is a more important thing to focus on for example to be a VP is having issues logging into their email they can't see messages that's a big deal because that's a VP um, they're like a very higher up you know person so they have to be assist immediately um something for sales that's another big deal so if there's, if there's if there's any sales issues or tickets um that's really important to put as high priority because it's money that they're dealing with they're making sales and we have to make sure they keep making the company money so the sales department is another big high pri high priority when it comes to tickets it has to be focused on immediately um but that's my day-to-day -day is see to manage the ticket systems and see what should I, um, who who may I start assisting first, depending on the priority, or how high or low it is, if that makes any sense. Um, I guess for a low pri priority would be someone's, I don't know, it could be someone's, um, their, their, their audio system is not working in terms of their speakers or their monitor that's not working. Um, not a big deal. They could probably use their headset to hear some audio. So we could just swap up this the, the speakers and you know, give them another one. So that's a low pri low priority. Um, yeah. So this is what I do. Just this, this is what I do as my day to day. My like the very beginning of my shift is I try to see um, depending on the ticket system who needs my who needs my attention first and who doesn't. So that's what I do all day. So once I find out which tickets to start working on then I do that it just depends on what the issue is it could be a slow computer it could be a faulty cable it could be the monitors or the monitor of the person is going black or it's just acting weird it's not working not working so assist fix it right so that's really my day-to-day -day. Um, another thing that we do is onboarding meaning new hires we pretty much set up their computer systems um, download all the applications that they need to start working whatever that they, they are re requesting wh really whatever the manager is requesting or supervisor of that new hire so that's something we do also is uh, focus on onboarding set up their you know com computer system give them all the accessories they need to start working so it could be a, a USB headset it could be depending how much how many monitors they need it could be a three monitor setup um, they may need a specific laptop depending on the, the depending on the department that they're in. Um, so they may need a really strong, fast computer, or maybe it could be a standard computer. You know, someone that's just doing tech support or customer service. It all depends, really. But that's really my that's something we also do is onboarding. Another project we have right now is um, they're ordering new computers for pretty much an entire department. So we have to set up everything the computers so have it configured 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 tested and deployed stuff like that so it could get really techy every now and then we have to start ip configuring things and ping and all that stuff if you don't know what it is google it it just all depends on the ticket so that's my day-to-day -day as an it support specialist um these jobs are still um they're still available right you can even land a job in it help desk or support support specialist 
without a degree or a certificate from course careers this is still possible you could just do all these things by just applying and you may never know they may hire you because you already have the skills in terms of customer service um, problem solving troubleshooting you probably already have these skills so I just say just start applying go on LinkedIn indeed career careerbuilder.com monster and just start applying you the worst they can say to you is no but go for it um, if you need to kind of understand how IT works in terms of the technologies and all these things to figure out what you need to understand or learn how to use go on YouTube there's plenty of tutorials on there uh, just type in IT support day to day um, you should see enough information to understand what you need to focus on in terms of how to obtain a job in um, as the IT um, support specialist help desk same thing um, but m one thing I would take to very much focus on is um, learn all the basics in terms of a computer system if you're new to that so understand what you know seriously what is a keyboard a mouse you know RAM a hard drive what's a motherboard how does all that work together you know what is um, C what like, I'm sorry like what is CMOS BIOS those are basic knowledge information in terms of IT also learn what is cloud computing what is AWS what is my what is Azure 365 you know Outlook um, there are all these things you're, you're, you're gonna need to know it at some point working in IT hub desk so learn those things on YouTube even something like Zendesk learn about that t that ticketing system and see how to use that um, hope this video helps very much any questions let me know again special thank you to our sponsors and I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching peace out